Hi, I'm Paul Irvine and beside me is Michael McCallum. Today we'll talk about the PLC HMI BNR controller we use across our entire FlexPak product line. A significant investment is made in this technology has led us to the point where today we offer features like hardware and software security, remote access and diagnostics, built-in system diagnostics and predict predictive maintenance. Today we will discuss what are these features and why we have included them. So let's start off with some general features that run across our entire product line. First, there's user access levels. These are operator, technician and engineering levels which are designed to restrict and protect critical machine functionality. Next would be recipe management. And Mike, why don't you tell us a little about that? Sure, all of our machines come with built-in recipe management. Uh, it's really used to store key operating parameters uh, and set up uh, settings for specific products so they can be easily recalled at a later date uh, when that production run needs to be run again. So they're all stored to a CSV file on the built-in memory in the controller. Uh, the memory is about 400 megabytes in size, so you can store an infinite amount of these recipe files. They're also easily able to be uh, pulled off the controller, shared with other machines that are identical, um, and be backed up that way as well. Thanks, Mike. Uh, we have warning and uh, alarm management also. We include active and historical alarm tracking, which provides clarity on what happened and when it happened on your machine. System Diagnostic Manager is another feature we include in the VNR package. This provides visibility of the status of the control hardware, similar to what would happen in a task manager on a PLC, or a PC, excuse me. It also allows the ability to do a system dump of critical log files to help in the diagnosis of hardware and software uh, issues. Well, Mike, tell us about the FPT server and the VNC server capabilities. Sure, so to go along with the built-in file manager that we have on the interface of the screen, uh, there's also FTP server that's hosted by the controller. It allows you to connect with an FTP client off of your laptop or iPad uh, and uh, pull files from the controller, such as the recipes we talked about earlier, um, the log files from a system dump, any alarm file logs that are stored there. Um, just one of more easy ways to access the files aside from a USB uh, drive directly in the controller. Um, the VNR C70 also has a built-in VNC server which allows you to use a VNC client on your laptop or iPad again and pull up the screen um, exactly as it appears uh, when you're standing right in front of it and operate it remotely uh, through that VNC client. Thanks, Mike. Uh, we also have production statistics that are built in. This includes a product counter, which is user resettable and allows for the production rate to be displayed in hours or by shift or by days, however you'd like to do it. So now what we'd like to do is talk about some specific features they, as they relate to our brands. And what we're going to do is begin with Mplex. First, Mike, tell us about user management. Sure, so on our Mplex line to help some of our medical customers comply with FDA guidelines, um, we're utilizing DNR's Map User X functionality. Uh, this function block allows us to integrate with uh, LDAP servers such as Microsoft's version of Microsoft Active Directory. Um, and allow the customer to use their um, single database of usernames and passwords on our machine directly and avoid having to have redundant username and password that they need to manage separately. Thanks. Uh, language selection is also something you can do. Currently we offer for French, English, Spanish, Italian, and Russian. And we have a legacy mode if all this seems just a little too complex, which, uh, which may be the way I'll end up using it. And that's for users who prefer a single access level and direct control of machine functions like heat, speed, and pressure. It's designed to mimic the use of standalone controls found on our older MPS models and some of our competition, our competitors. The ability to disable this model will not allow operators the opportunity to bypass the recipe settings. Mike, tell us about preventative maintenance. So we try to keep uh, our machines running as well, or allow our customers to keep their machines running optimally. So the majority of our software on the machine have built-in usage trackers for the wear components on the machine. It'll track that usage in hours or distance or whatever the most relevant uh, unit is for that uh, specific component. It'll trigger an alarm warning so that it can be replaced prematurely and avoid failing while the machine's in production. And data logging and audit trail functionality, Mike? So we're also, we also have built-in data logging 
um, which allows the critical operating parameters of the machine to be stored to a CSV file, which is again stored on that user uh, partition. Um, we also have a more advanced audit trail functionality, um, which tracks everything that happens on the, on the uh, controller uh, with a timestamp and can be exported to other um, data collection software, such as Wonderware, Historian, over OPC UA. And finally, safe, safe systems. We have hardware, hardwired emergency stops, and control relay removes the energy from devices that may cause harm to a user. All right, and now we'd like to talk to you about how we've implemented the, D, the BNR PLC HMI C70 into our Daymark product line. The first thing I'd mention is we have language selection. You can have English or Spanish in this case. And the next thing I'd mention is integrated machine safety. And Mike, why don't you tell us a bit about that? Sure, so on our larger pieces of equipment, we've integrated a BNR safety controller on the X20 uh, IO system inside of the control cabinet. It communicates with our C70 controller over the proprietary X2X bus and gives us a lot of visibility of what's happening with the machine safety functions. All of the door switches, e-stops, enabling switches, and any other safety devices that are installed in the machine are wired directly back to the safe inputs. Any device that can cause motion or harm a user um, or store energy is controlled directly by the safe outputs. The visibility between the safety controller and the PLC gives us a lot of flexibility in how we implement these functions and allows for isolated control of uh, machine axes at safe speeds to allow for setup procedures and maintenance tasks. All right. So when we're talking safety, it's obviously very important. And if you can see the machine behind us, it's big, it's complex, and it's fast. There, there are safety issues that have to be addressed. We do this in conjunction with our customers by talking about their specific needs and jurisdictions and spe specific needs relative to whatever company policies you have in that regard. Now, Mike, tell me something about the integration, integrated machine motion and the, of the control. So a machine like this uh, has built-in motion from BNR using their Acapost P3 drives. Uh, this specific machine has nine servo axes being controlled by three drives. So each of those drives controls three independent motors. It creates a really small footprint for us to install in the panel and reduces the heat that that component generates. Um, they communicate back to the C70 controller over their PowerLink Ethernet, but Ethernet uh, interface, uh, which provides for very fast synchronization between all the servo axes. Whether it's cammed motion or basic motion profiles, everything is implemented on standardized PLC open motion function blocks, making it very easy for us to adapt uh, the machine's uh, platform to various applications. Thanks, Mike. I should also note that this this cabinet that's below us here is control, is uh, cooled, and uh, that comes as a standard feature on any of these bigger panels. Now, Mike, tell us about remote monitoring and programming. We like to offer uh, our customers some assurance when the machine is located far away from our factories in Toronto, Canada. So our, the larger equipments do come with a VPN router installed in it. Uh, it comes in three iterations, one being for a direct LAN connection, one is Wi-Fi capable, and the last one for uh, communication over a cellular network when the, the other two won't work. Um, it allows us to have a lot of visibility with the machine while it's running, diagnose uh, more complex software uh, failures or bugs, uh, as well as help with some hardware falls as well. Uh, it allows us to pull information from the machine, ch make live changes, and really give that customer a sense of uh, security when, they, when running that uh, more complex machine uh, during the pro production. So inside the panel here, we have a variety of devices communicating directly with the C70 controller over a few of the, its available interfaces. Uh, the first being the X20 remote IO system sitting here. It has the uh, yellow slices here, which are a safety controller, as well as some safe inputs and outputs. Uh, they communicate with the BNR controller over the X2X bus. Uh, we have six AC drives here um, for the AC motors in the machine. They also communicate with the controller over the X2X um, bus. Um, just to the left of that, we have the Acapost P3 drives. Uh, each of those drives is controlling three independent servo motors. They communicate with the C70 controller over Ethernet PowerLink, a uh, very fast interface for um, precise uh, multi-axis motion. Um, along with that, we have our VPN router um, beside the X2X um, IO bank here. Uh, that allows us remote access to the machine and that communicates with the controller over its ethernet interface um, and through that interface we can see what's going on with everything else in the machine no matter what uh, bus it's communicating with our machine level 
All right. And finally, uh, something about us at Flexpac here. We've been in business for the last 50 years. We have 19 languages spoken. We have offices in Canada, the U.S. and Mexico, and we have uh, websites in both Spanish and English. Uh, we have a dedicated service site, which is brand new, and we ask you to take a look at it. We have stock machines and parts in three different countries. We have roughly 5,000 customers and 10,000 machines installed. Now, if you'd like to get in touch with us, contact us through our website, www.plexpack.com, or call us at any one of the offices that you'll see in a moment on the screen. Thanks very much for your time. If you'd like to know more, we'd sure like to talk to you. Thanks.